A Googleplex is the number 10 Google, or equivalently, 10. Written out in ordinary decimal notation, it is 1 followed by 10,100 zeros. History. In 1920, Edward Kastner's nine-year-old nephew, Milton Sirota, coined the term Google, which is 10,100 then propose the further term Googleplex to be 1, followed by writing zeros until you get tired. Kastner decided to adopt a more formal definition, because different people get tired at different times and it would never do to have Carnera be a better mathematician than drive Einstein, simply because he had more endurance and could write for longer. It thus became standardized to 10. Size a typical book can be printed with 106 zeros. Therefore, it requires 1094 such books to print all the zeros of a Googleplex. If such a book would weigh 100 grams, all of them would weigh 1093 kilograms. In comparison, Earth's mass is 5.972 x 1024 kilograms. In pure mathematics in pure mathematics. There are several notational methods for representing large numbers by which the magnitude of a Googleplex could be represented, such as tetration, hyperoperation, Nuthsaparo notation, Steinhaus-Moser notation, or conway chain darrow notation. In the physical universe in the PBS science program Cosmos, A Personal Voyage, Episode 9, The Lives of the Stars. Astronomer and television personality Carl Sagan estimated that writing a Googleplex in standard form would be physically impossible, since doing so would require more space than is available in the known universe. One Google is presumed to be greater than the number of atoms in the observable universe, which has been estimated to be approximately 1078. Thus, in the physical world, it is difficult to give examples of numbers that compare to the vastly greater Googleplex. However, in analyzing quantum states and black holes, physicist Don Page writes that, determining experimentally whether or not information is lost down black holes of solar mass, would require more than 101,076.96 measurements to give a rough determination of the final density matrix after a black hole evaporates, and the end of the universe via big freeze without proton decay is expected to be around 101,075 years into the future. In a separate article, Page shows that the number of states in a black hole with a mass roughly equivalent to the Andromeda galaxy is in the range of a Googleplex. Writing the number would take an extreme amount of time. If a person can write two digits per second, then writing a Googleplex would take around about 1.51 times 1092 years which is about 1.1 times 1082 times the accepted age of the universe. Mod n. The residues of a Googleplex are 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 4, 4, 0, 1, 0, 1, 4, 3, 4, 10, 0, 1, 10, 9, 0, 4, 12, 13, 16, 0, 16, 10, 4, 24, 10, 5, 0, 1, 18, 25, 28, 10, 20, 28, 16, 0, 1, 4, 24, 12, 10, 36, 9, 16, 4, 0.